Thousands of Minnesota students get back to class this week. Some families in one school are already outraged. New rules appear to dramatically limit students' ability to leave the classroom. As our Mary McGuire learned, the rules appear to limit water breaks, bathroom breaks, and nurse visits. It was not in place last year, so it is something new that they're doing. After the first day of school this week, Kelsey Rodefeld sat down to go over how things went with her son. He's a seventh grader at Fair and Crystal, a magnet school in the Robbinsdale district with a focus on fine arts. She was shocked when her son mentioned a new policy that's being implemented. And he brought it up and said, well, we have this new policy now that we only are allowed 12 bathroom breaks per quarter. In the back of his school binder was this sheet, apparently limiting the number of bathroom breaks students can take. She was under the impression it capped the number at 12 per quarter. After speaking with other parents in the district, Kelsey says she learned the 12 passes are not just for bathroom breaks, but water breaks and trips to the nurse. So it's essentially the equivalent of being able to leave the classroom just over once a week. Um, and with three minutes in between classes for kids to transition to different classrooms, it's just not enough time for everyone to have bathroom breaks. You have girls that are going through puberty that need some additional time to take care of things. One of her biggest frustrations now is that parents weren't told about this change in the first place. Parents are kind of in the dark and we have, you know, 11 to 13 year olds trying to explain something that they barely understand. No, I did reach out to the school district about this and a spokesperson tells me there was some confusion over this matter, but that kids are not limited to just 12 bathroom breaks per quarter. That sheet that went in folders of the students, that was just a way to teach them how to manage their out of class time. Reporting in Crystal, Mary McGuire, Fox 9. Near Milwaukee, a doorbell captures a dramatic crash between a school bus and a city bus. As the school bus was passing through an intersection, it's T-boned by the city bus and flips onto its side. Ten people were injured, most on the city bus. Just two people were on the school bus, the driver and an assistant. They had just dropped off their last child moments before that collision right there.